Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay today. So today I wanna to talk about how do you let go when your son or daughter chooses someone that you know deep down is not good for them. So this is a question that one of my moms asked in the new Facebook group. And so I thought I would share it here too. So I'm sure some of you are probably thinking the same thing. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Sally Harris, and I am a firm believer that every mom deserves a support system while you're going through this difficult time. And so let's dive in here. I have a couple thoughts on this, really three, um, three points that I wanna make. So when your child, adult child, um, chooses someone, a boyfriend, if it's your daughter, whatnot. So in this example, it's her daughter. So she chose a, a guy, um, a boyfriend that she, that mom knows deep down that is not a good fit for her. So what do you do? So I want you to think about it and I want you to think about some of your past choices and I want you to think about some of the things that you did when you were younger. Um, maybe you guys were had a smooth upbringing and didn't ever get in any trouble or always made the right choice in men, but um, I know I didn't and I'm assuming maybe some of you haven't either. So I want you to think back and just take a deep breath and think about that because think back to your younger years and ask yourself, did you always make the right choice? Because also when we know better, we do better. And as we mature, we do better as well. So um, that's number one. And number two is just because that's who she's with today doesn't mean that's who she's going to stay with. And I know it feels like an eternity when your child is with someone that you know is not good for them. Um, and then lastly, number three is, you know, as her values change, as she matures, um, you know, God will change her heart and she will be with the person that she's supposed to be with. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys can relate to that too, but as you mature, you really do tend to, you know, your interests change, your career, your schooling, whatever it is. Um, and we're talking about young adults here, but as those things change in your own life, um, you tend to make better decisions and better choices. Um, but really the biggest thing too, you know, is I would not, you can voice your opinion that this person might not be the best for her, but I would be cautious with that because, you know, right now her loyalty may be to this guy, right? Versus mom. Um, temporarily, we don't know. So um, I would be careful how you present that, but also just love her through it. Just love her through it. Um, unless there is some type of abuse that you're aware of, then that's a deal breaker, obviously. Um, but otherwise I would just kind of, you know, you just have to kind of love her through it and, um, listen. Um, she knows deep down if this person is really not a good fit for her, she knows deep down how you feel anyway. So, um, I would definitely go with that. But if you are interested in my Facebook group, there's a link below to, uh, join that mama just breathe be happy to have you there if we've never spoke before I would love to chat with you on a discovery call um, To hear more about what's going on in your situation and then to see how I could help So the link to that will be below as well. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye